Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism, CBM. In a world grappling with climate change, the European Union is pioneering a bold move to curb carbon emissions. The Carbon Border Adjustment Mechanism, or CBAM, is the EU's latest tool in the fight against global warming. But what is it, and how does it work? The CBM is an extension of the EU Emissions Trading Scheme, designed to prevent carbon leakage and ensure that European industries remain competitive. It targets imports of goods like cement, iron, steel, and electricity, which are significant greenhouse gas emitters. Starting October 1, 2023, importers must report emissions without financial penalty during a transitional phase. By 2026, they'll pay for their carbon footprint with CBAM certificates, priced according to the EU ETS auction price. The EU isn't alone in its efforts. Emissions trading systems exist from California to China, but with varying carbon prices, the EU's competitiveness is at risk. The EU's carbon price hovers around $80 per ton, while other markets like the UK and California are significantly lower. This discrepancy has sparked concerns about the EU's industrial competitiveness on the global stage. The CBAM has not been without controversy. Countries like China and India, facing significant impacts on their exports, have raised concerns about WTO compliance and the potential harm to global supply chains. The EU insists the CBM is fair, applying the same carbon price to imports as to domestic products. Yet the debate rages on, with calls for WTO talks to standardize such measures before they proliferate and further strain international trade relations. As the EU forges ahead with its CBAM, the world watches closely. Will this mechanism level the playing field or will it ignite a trade war under the guise of environmental protection? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, the global march towards a greener economy is on and the rules of engagement are changing.